up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host and I know that I have been MIA for a few days, but don't worry. I haven't been out here drinking Bud Light and apparently no one else has been either. However, even though I've been gone, I've been paying attention and Bud Light has been messing up time and time again. Not only are sales continuing to slump, but Bud Light is continuing to get exposed. They released a new commercial that got ratioed into high hell. They also have been sponsoring a lot of interesting events where grown men and women get naked in front of kids and dance around in the street. Now, of course, we're talking about these pride events, these pride marches, and I just find it so almost hilarious. It's disgusting, but it's hilarious. Watching a Bud Light float, you know, a Bud Light float or truck or what have you, go down the street slowly in a parade, followed by naked men who are shaking their balls in the faces of unsuspecting toddlers whose freako moms chose to take them to these events. People running around in their Bud Light shirts. Everyone's happy. Everyone's partying. Everyone loves the fact that they're exposing themselves to kids. It's a cult. It really is. And you know who's funding it? It's Bud Light. Bud Light. So there is no coming back, ladies and gentlemen. And this is something that I've acknowledged before. And we're going to keep acknowledging. Bud Light could apologize all they want, which they haven't really. They can do all the ads they want. They can do whatever in the hell they want. They could beg for their customers. They could try to guilt trip you into believing that everyone's going to lose their jobs. So you better buy their beer. I don't care. They've shown their true colors. Their true colors are the rainbow. <laughs> and they've shown that they don't give a damn about anything. They could pretend. They could put these messages out here. Like we didn't mean to get involved in the culture war and stick our heads in difficult conversations, yet you're spending buku amounts of dollars to be in parades where dudes dress up in fetish gear and act like dogs in front of kids while spreading their butt cheeks wide open. It's like, what in the hell is wrong with these people? And you would think that after Bud Light has gotten themselves in the middle of this debacle, that they would stop, that they would course correct, but that is not what is happening here. And in my opinion, this just shows you how bad Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch was. Because when the Dylan Mulvaney situation started, they pretended. They pretended as if they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. They pretended like it was all the fault of this ad agency. We didn't know. This wasn't approved. So let me ask you this, Bud Light. You claim that you didn't approve this ad with Dylan Mulvaney. Yet why... Why across America are we seeing these crazy events sponsored by Bud Light? I just watched a parade the other day that Bud Light was participating in that had naked dudes walking along a Bud Light truck showing their junk to little kids. I've also seen one of these little drag parties sponsored by Bud Light where grown men in dresses are twerking in front of kids. So... Who signed off on that? You lied and you tried to pretend like you, oh, we didn't know about the Dylan Mulvaney. No one approved this, but you approved having your trucks and spending your money in and on these parades. Now, I have no problem with people wanting to do what they want to do and adults having a good time. But at the end of the day, what other parades are there where grown men get naked in the middle of the street? and dance around in front of kids. Why is that necessary? It's not necessary. And anyone that wants to do that should be thrown in jail. And any parent that takes their kids to this stuff should be thrown in jail. And yeah, I mean that 100%. Far as I'm concerned, you could throw them in there for life. It's a worse offense than almost anything I could think of. You know, it's way high up there knowingly taking your kids to an event so you could watch these weirdos do this stuff in front of your kids. It's one of the most grossest things I can think of. And, you know, thinking about the fact that there are people out there that do this is bad enough, but then you see these 
big corporations and these big companies that are funding this. They like this stuff because in reality, the CEOs and the powerful people within these companies, they want access to kids as well. So they have no problem funding this stuff and they pretend like it's the, in the name of social justice. If anything, this wild behavior that we're watching play out over the last few years, it's doing nothing but setting that community back. It's setting that community back. I'm watching people who are totally tolerant people, who never had any problem with pride and the rainbow and whatever these people were doing. Now they have a problem. And I'm getting to the verge of like, I, I, I'm so disgusted and so fed up with this stuff. It's insane. And I'm a very tolerant person. I love everyone. I don't care what you do behind closed doors with consenting adults. It does not matter. And I think that a lot of people in that community, they're not for this stuff either. But they get alienated and ostracized whenever they speak out against it. But you have to. If you're a part of this community, understand that these people are setting y'all back. These people are giving y'all a bad name. I don't think that all people who identify this way are groomers. I don't think just because you're a dude that likes dude or a woman that like women that you're a groomer. I don't think that at all. I think that's far from the case. However, people who are groomers have latched on to this movement. They've latched on to this community and they know that this community you can't say anything negative about them. So they're acting basically with immunity, knowing that no one's going to do anything because everyone's gone so woke. Everyone's so worried about offending someone. Everyone's so wrapped up in this social justice cause that they'll literally feed their children to chomos. They'll literally offer their kids, hey, Hey, pervert that likes to touch little kids, here is my daughter, here is my son. Please wag your balls in front of them while you're dressed as a dog in the middle of the street in San Francisco. It's so insane. And Bud Light is there every step of the way funding this, funding this, while pretending that we don't know what's going on. We didn't know this would be so controversial. We didn't know that parents maybe wouldn't like that these guys are taking their balls out in front of their kids. It's like, oh my God. Bud Light deserves everything that, that comes to it. At this point, I don't care who loses their job. At this point, I'm looking at you like, why are you still even working for this company? I know times are hard and times are rough, but I'm gonna tell you right now. And you know, I hope this, I, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm just being honest. You ain't gonna catch me working for a company that's sponsoring this stuff. I understand food got to get put on the table, bills got to get paid, but you ain't gonna catch me driving around in a Bud Light truck knowing the type of stuff that Bud Light has going on. I would quit and I'd go somewhere else, okay? And just to be frank, I understand. My, at the end of the day, quitting your job, delivering Bud Light, it may suck, maybe you needed a job, but there's better jobs out there. It's not like you're making millions of dollars a year. I think it's time to give it up. And I don't care who loses their jobs along the way. I don't care what businesses are hurt along the way. Bud Light has to go. Every company that is pushing this stuff, they have to go and they have to be taught a lesson. We can no longer support this stuff. It's gone, it's just gotten too crazy. It's gotten too crazy. And I'm starting to sense that finally everyone the normal people who don't pay attention, they're starting to catch up and they're realizing that things have gone off the rails. Let me know your thoughts about this though down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll be talking to you all in the next video.